boss of the outfit. I don't belong to no outfit. I'm just a hired hand here. Stop! He's the man who's supposed to have bought all his property. Supposed to? What do you mean, supposed to? Well, you got me. There's something crooked about the whole deal. You're not badly hurt, sir. No. But it was a close call. Too bad that accident happened to Mr. Fulton's property. Yes. The loss of the rig is a serious blow. But he's got his well back. And he'll have his note back soon. You got the note? Yes. I'm going to give it to Fulton as soon as I get back to the apartment. You wake him up. I'll wait in the garage for your signal. Are you awake, Mr. Fulton? Yes, Cato. I must have been very tired to have slept so long. If you will step into the living room, I will prepare some food. Thank you, Cato. Is Mr. Reed in? Not yet, sir. All right. Hold it. The Green Hornet. Get away from that door. Back up to the wall, both of you. Here's that note you were tricked into signing. Where? How did you get it? Never mind that. My getting it destroyed your rig. My rig was destroyed? Yes, but your well is undamaged, and you still have a month to get it back into production and pay off your indebtedness. Why, this note, when I signed it, was due on the 31st. It was changed to the 1st by means of disappearing ink. What's your interest in this? That's my business. Well, it's my business to know what you expect to get out of this. Get to the other room, both of you. I'll handle this, Spalpine. I finally caught you, Harnett. Now I'll soon settle you. Hold this door shut. Oh, the horror. Hold this door shut till I... till I get me gun. Stand back. Shorty's Michael Axford will take over now. Well, he's locked at the Spalpeen. Uh, your keys, Cato. Hurry. Your fingers give way. Now come on, open it. Hurry up. Cut it. Nobody can walk through solid walls unless it's a spook. But he's done it. You think the Hornet is supernatural? I wouldn't put it past him. And to think I was face to face with him and me without a gun. What's all the excitement, boys? The Green Hornet was here, himself in person, and got away. Well, what could he possibly want here? 
He was looking for me. It calls for an explanation. Oh, it was about that note I signed. He gave it back to me. Let's all go in the other room where we can sit down and talk it over. So, the Green Hornet brought you back your note, eh, Fulton? Yes, Reed, but now that I have it, what shall I do with it? I'll pay it back when it comes due. You're right. The extra 30 days my note has to run will enable me to save my investment. Thanks for all you've done for me, Reed. I oh. certainly appreciate it. Good night. Good night. Oh, sure, tis a black day for me, so it tis. To have the Green Hornet so close to me and then let him slip through me fingers. Ah, oh, Michael, if you don't catch the Green Hornet, I don't know who will. Uh, good night, sir. Good night. Escape, Cato. I didn't expect Axford back so soon. Yes, and I never knew Axford to be without his gun before. <laughs> I wonder how much longer I'll be able to keep up this dual role. Long enough to finish what you have set out to do, I hope, Mr. Britt. <laughs> Had some close calls lately, but I've got to keep up this thing until I run down the head of the crime syndicate. Jackers was caught? Nary a one. They vanished into the night just like the Green Hornet does. Say, that gives me an idea. Do you suppose that... Oh, <laughs> Michael, the Green Hornet would have to be a Superman to get mixed up in half of the things you accuse him of. Laugh if you want to. But it's my theory the Hornet's got something to do with this hijacking racket. I'm willing to bet that he hasn't. How are you going to prove he hasn't? How are you going to prove he has? Well, I... I... Michael, you should know better than to slander the Green Hornet when Case is around. You know, sometimes I almost believe she's in cahoots with a night riding devil. Well, he'd better stay out of this deal. I heard the police were tipped off. The police? Yeah. The state police were tipped off this morning. There's going to be a big hijack job pulled off on a coast road tonight. I'll tell Gunnigan to have you cover it. Thanks, boss. I'll go out and get more dope on it right now. Oh, wait a minute, Michael. Well, don't you think I ought to go with the kid? No, no. I have another plan. What's that? Michael, that hijack gang is, is very efficient. They proved that by the size of the hall... And by the fact that not one of them was captured. So? Well, it, it just doesn't seem reasonable that a gang like that would allow a tip-off. Well, I know, but the state coppers got one. Sure they did. But how do we know it isn't a phony? Misleading the police so that they can pull a job somewhere else. By golly, it might be. Now, what other road would be left unguarded? Well, the Inland Highway, of course. Yes, that's it. And I'm betting that's where the action's going to be tonight. Well, I'd better tell Lowry that. No, no, let him go. I may be wrong. So we can cover both roads between us, you see. Well, what time will we be leaving? Right after dinner. We'll hit the Inland Highway just before dark, and we'll patrol it from one end to the other. You stay here. I'm going to watch those fellows from the edge of the bank. I'll be right on the job if anything happens. All right, you, get out. Come on. I'll do as you're told, buddy, and you won't get hurt. All right, you guys, tie him up and put him in that truck. I was right, Michael. They're hijacking that truck. The nerve of them, right on the public highway. Yeah, it's their nerve that helps them get away with it. 
looks like an ordinary breakdown. Transferring goods from one truck to the other. Well, shouldn't we be doing something about it? Now, for the time being, we'll just watch. They finished. Now they'll drive the empty truck somewhere and abandon it. Well, what will we be doing about it? We'll try to find out where they take the stolen goods, if we can. Trail him at a safe distance. There's a car tailless with the lights out. Oh, yeah? We'll find out who's in it. I'll be back. Stop that shooting, you fools. Get out of that car. Well, if it isn't the old friend Axman. And the other guy must have been Britt Reed. Well, Dolan will get him. Says you. <laughs> get over that car. But him, we missed him. Well, come on. Why don't we leave this guy in the ditch? Because we can use him to trap Reed. If Dolan and Lefty don't get him, what do we do with Reed's car? Leave it to the other boys. Quit asking questions. Help me get this mug in the car. <laughs> Mr. Reed's apartment. Hello, Cato. Yes, Mr. Reed. Bring Black Beauty in the Green Hornet outfit. Pick me up just off the Inland Highway, a mile north of Greendale, and hurry. Yes, sir, at once. your lights. Turn to the right and keep going until you come to a big farmhouse. truckload of silk. Who's in charge of the job? A fellow named DeLuca. Who's his boss? I don't know. DeLuca rented his place for me, and that's the only one I know. Hey! <laughs> Yeah, 
inside their car. They're just getting away with that truck. After them. Stop this truck. Oh. 